run this is the evs class for standard 4th today we are going to start chapter 3 journey of food we all need food to live it gives us energy to work and play food is essential for our growth it helps us to stay healthy by protecting us against diseases students you eat different kinds of food at different times some come from plants and some come from animals food like fruits vegetables cereals and pulses are grown by farmer children do you know how does your food reach your plate let us see journey from seeds to our plate all our food grows between the sky and the earth it is nourished by rays of the sun and minerals from the soil have you ever been to a grocery shop there are different varieties of wheat rice and dal do you think the grocer grow all the rice wheat and dal in his garden no he gets it from the wholesaler wholesaler gets it from the grain merchant the grain merchant gets it from the big mandi a grain market where all the farmers bring the grains they produce let us know about the process of growing a crop step first preparation of soil by plowing and leveling step 2 sowing seeds done by hand or seed drill step 3 irrigation step 4 use manure and fertilizers fifth is weeding crop protection harvesting threshing winnowing and storage of grains let us study in detail of each steps the process begins with plowing the process of loosening and turning the soil is called plowing this is done by a wooden or an iron plow animals are used to pull the plows in smaller fields plowing in bigger fields is done by tractor it makes loosens and aerates the soil so that the roots are able to breathe and it also helps in the growth of microorganisms and worms in the soil and maintains the fertility of the soil after plowing the soil is leveled with the help of a leveler and furrows are made in the soil it crushes bigger pieces of dry soil into smaller pieces and it presses the loosened top soil and prevents soil erosion after the soil is prepared the seeds are put in the furrows this is called sowing of seeds the seeds sown must be healthy and of good quality there are two methods of sowing seeds by hand in this method the farmer scatters the seeds in the soil the disadvantage of this method is seeds do not reach into the right depth and the birds can pick them up with a seed drill a seed drill has a funnel shaped opening these tubes are attached to the plow seeds are put into the funnel as the plow makes furrows in the soil 
the seeds are deposited at the right distance and right depth in the soil by the drill this method is better than sowing seeds by hand as the seeds are scattered over the entire field and at the right depth irrigation supply of water to the crop is called irrigation wells and tube wells are traditional methods of irrigation there are different methods of irrigation are furrow irrigation flood irrigation in flood irrigation water from a canal is allowed to flow into the field this water slowly spreads over the fields depending upon the slope of the land this method is used only in places where a lot of water is available sprinkler irrigation in a sprinkler irrigation water is sprayed on standing crops in the form of artificial rain this method is used where flood irrigation or furrow irrigation is not possible it is one of the modern method of irrigation farmers add manure and fertilizers to the soil to make it rich in minerals weeding many unwanted plants grow along with the main crop these unwanted plants are known as weeds and the process of removing weeds is called weeding weeds can be removed by hand or using tools like trowels and harrows nowadays farmers use chemicals called weedicides to destroy weeds now crop protection to protect the crops from pest and insects farmers spray pesticides and insecticides and to protect the crops from birds and animals farmers put up scarecrows when the crop mature it has to be cut close to the ground the process of cutting mature crop plants is called harvesting it is done either by sickles or machines called harvesters threshing the process of separating grains from the harvested crop is known as threshing a machine called thresher is used for threshing winnowing after threshing the chaff is removed from the grains by wind this is known as winnowing in this process the threshed grain are made to fall from a certain height the seeds being heavier fall directly on the ground while the light chaff falls separately and the wind blows it away the harvested grains are dried in the sun the clean grains are then put in gunny bags and transported to godowns known as granaries or silos it is a dry cool place protected from rats insects and birds the harvested grains stored in granaries or silos are transported in trucks to the wholesale market for sale shopkeepers and vendors buy food grains from these wholesale market and we buy food grains from the shopkeepers the food grains bought by us are cooked and eaten now you know how food travels from the farmers to our plate